Hello everybody and welcome to today's Your Library at Home program. Today we will be making some dog toys. All that you need for these dog toys is an old t-shirt that you don't mind cutting up and some scissors to do some cutting for those t-shirts. Um, once you have those two things, you are ready to go. We'll be doing some braiding today. I'll show you step by step how to braid the uh, t-shirt strips in order to create a toy for your doggy. Jungle Mr. Sim. And this is Mr. Simba. Um, we will be actually playing with him with an actual dog toy that we make. So you can kind of see the ways that you can use this dog toy safely with your own dog. Now, to make your very own dog toy, all that you need is a t-shirt that you don't mind cutting up and a pair of scissors. Once you have that, you are ready to go. To cut up the fabric for the dog toys, you're gonna make what I call short strips and long strips. The long strips are going to be what you braid to make the dog toys, and the short strips are gonna hold the long strips in place while you braid. To make a long strip out of a t-shirt, it's best to start at the very bottom of the t-shirt, and then just very carefully cut your way across. It doesn't need to be a certain width. It doesn't need to be super even. Just need to make sure that you get to the other side. Depending on the size of the t-shirt that you use, that will affect the overall length of the strips. If you have more than one t-shirt, you can also cut up different t-shirts to get different colors. So, here we have the long strip. From there, all you need to do is cut it right down the middle to make one long strip. To make the short strips, I find that the sleeves of the t-shirt work the best. All you need to do is cut your way across. And just like with the long strip, you change it from a little circle to a strip for braiding. Now, for the purposes of today's video, we already have some strips ready to braid. We have a blue, a green, and a red. And from the sleeves of another t-shirt, we have two short strips. What you're gonna wanna do is tie the three long strips together at the end using one of the short strips. I'm just gonna do a nice, easy double knot. To hold it in place. It just makes the braiding a lot easier and it makes the toy last longer when your dog starts to tug on it. So, you do wanna make sure you have a little bit of wiggle room at the end. You don't want to run out of fabric because again, the dog will be tugging on this. So you wanna have enough room for the dog to play with it and roughhouse. From here, you have three different strips that you use on the left, the middle, and the right in that order. And all you need to do is take one of these strips and move it to the middle, switch sides, move the other strip to the middle. So we'll do left in the middle, right in the middle, left in the middle. So again, you're just kind of making your way down switching sides, bringing that to the middle. Then as you go, you can kind of shimmy the fabric up to tighten the knot. You can make this as tight as you would like. You can also braid more than three strips. If you know different kinds of braids, or if you want to do multiple strips at once to make a uh, thicker toy, you could definitely do that and be creative, whatever variations you'd like to do. The only thing I want to point out is with the fabric you use, make sure you don't have any items that the dogs can choke on. You don't want to braid anything that has any buttons or sequins, just plain strips of fabric that the dog can safely chew. So, we have a nice long strip here. We're going to take our other short strip, then tie it at the end. Again, the lengths of the uh, strips will vary if you use different t-shirts but it is okay to have a little bit of extra at the end. If you wanna trim anything off, you can do that with the scissors, but that is up to you, more of a stylistic choice. No matter what, it's gonna get dog slobber all over it, so it doesn't need to look super pretty. It just needs to be sturdy, tied at both ends, and then braided together. 
And from there, you have a dog toy that you can use with your dog. So with that, we are going to bring this to Mr. Simba and have him play with the dog toy outside. So here we have a brand new dog toy. What you're going to want to do is hold the dog toy at one end and then let your dog play with the other end. So we will see if Simba wants to play here. Can you get to snake it through the grass a little bit? There we go. And from there, you can let your dog play with it. And it is a perfect tug toy. You can also wrap it around your hand if you have a really strong dog. That way you uh, can make sure you keep hold of that toy. Mr. Simba. Since Mr. Simba has been such a good boy, we are going to give him some treats. So right now I've told him to stay, which means he can't move from that spot until I give the command. Come. Sit. Lie down. Play dead. Play dead. You're so close. Play dead. Play dead. Good job. Everyone say bye, Mr. Simba. Say bye. <laughs>